<laughs> uh, all right, welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're working on a 2015, 2015 C300. Um, has this light on the dash for the auxiliary battery malfunction. Now, usually, usually I don't um, film during the day, but I have a special guest with me. My apprentice. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up some codes. So after I pulled these codes, I seen I had this B21DC01 code. Um, now, I was trying to look for information on all data, but I couldn't find any. I did find some information that Autologic uh, released, and I also got some information from Richard Falco, who's with Train by Techs and CTI. So I'm going to show you guys how I diagnosed this because um, there isn't a lot of information out there unless you know people who know things. So uh, I'll show you how I, I diagnosed this and, and we'll go from there. So that code sets whenever there is um, voltage not present at the ignition switch module, at the EIS module on one of the terminals. Now this here seems to be a pretty common failure part, this capacitor that I'm going to show you how to test. Um, now this capacitor is supposed to feed battery voltage to the EIS module and what I'm going to show you is that it doesn't. Um, if you want to see how I got to this EIS module, you got to check out a video by Super Mario Diagnostics and he'll, uh, he has a video on how to replace these. So this capacitor is just held in by an 8 millimeter bolt. Um, I already took the bolt out. Now there's going to be a red wire that feeds power to it. Uh, red wire has 14 volts on it. There's also a ground, which is a brown wire. Should have zero volts, which I do. And I also should have battery voltage on a red and blue wire that goes from this capacitor to the ignition switch module. And I only have about 1.2 volts. I'll stop this and we can measure it. Uh, 1.3 volts on this so this this capacitor is bad I'm gonna replace it and uh, we'll take another measurement so I'm gonna check this same uh, red and blue wire and mark here he can start this car up Uh, I can't, and I have 12.3 12, 12 volts on this red and blue wire, so this car is going to be fixed. I just wanted, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys this little trick because I had, I had a heck of a time finding information on this, especially what the voltage was supposed to be on here. So a friend of mine talked to a Mercedes tech, the Mercedes tech said there should only be uh, one volt on there like I had. And I, I didn't fully trust him, so I reached out to a couple. So I reached out to a couple other people I knew um, to get more information, and uh, that's when I decided to make the call on this. So, so I went and cleared the codes. Lights off. This wasn't a hard diag. I just wanted to make this video because I had so much trouble finding information on these. I'm sure. I'm sure people who work on a lot of German cars. Um, find this stuff easy but there was nothing in all data for 2015 model years there was a lot for 2014 but uh, the system changed a little bit in between 2014 and 2015 so I hope this helps some people out so they don't get their butt kicked just finding information like I did and uh, guess I'll see you guys next time